Has your old worn out graphics card started getting a little hot? Maybe when it was new, it was running at 50 degrees Celsius, but now it's running at 80 degrees Celsius. But you don't really want to upgrade, it's doing the performance you need. It's just a bit hot. Well, there can be multiple different reasons why. Maybe it's very dirty and needs a clean. That's not the case with this one. This is clean. So I'm thinking we're going to need to pull this graphics card apart and replace the thermal compound. Might be old, a little dried up, maybe there's not much left. We're about to find out. Pull off that. There's a little tab down here that can be difficult to press. But then it'll just come out nice and sweet. Look at that. Nice and clean, nice and clean. It's, it's not dirty in any way, so that's not why it's overheating. So, we're going to have to pull this heatsink and fan assembly off and get behind there. We have to pull these out. So these look different so we won't be able to put them in the wrong one when we put it back. And I'm just having a quick look here to see what I think is holding it down. It's just those four. We're about to find out. That's got this little sticker over it there. Keep in mind, if you are doing this, it's going to void your warranty if you have any. Which I don't on this, so it doesn't matter. Alrighty. Look at that. Look at that. Well, there's there's a bug there. He is surely crispy and ready to eat. Nice and cooked. Look at that thermal compound. There's nothing there practically. This is why we're overheating here. Now it's a little dirty in here, but not anywhere near what I expected. Let's scoop this fellow up. Give him a decent burial in the bin, probably. <laughs> R.I.P. little guy. R.I.P. Back to the video. I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to spray it on the cloth. Looking like a mirror. Look. Now that's uh, pretty clean. I'm just going to try clean out the rest of it a little bit. Um, seems pretty clean now. I get the duster to this. That's all looking pretty clean anyway. So I'm going to use some Cooler Master Master Gel. Normally on a CPU you put a pea size drop, but on this, because it's so small, we don't need that big. So I'm just going to put a little bit, and I reckon that's going to be enough. Just there. It's only a very small surface, so that's probably all we need. And then we're going to 
turned over. Make sure this is the top. And then we're gonna put it down very gently, as straight as possible, like that. I'm gonna put that in there. I'm not gonna put it in all the way. I'm gonna put that one on the opposite side. Again, not all the way. And then this one, the last one, I'm going to fully do up. Fully done up. Not massively too tight. And we all seem to be good. Then put our plugs back in. All right. And there we have it. It's practically like new now. Like new. Now we just have to put it back in. And plug that in. Put our screen back on. And we're done. Let's go test this out. But first let's let's clean this glass because it's very important to have nice clear see-through glass. How much cooler do you think this is going to run? Now in the current fan settings after running like F1 2018 for 10 minutes or so driving we were at like 72 degrees roundabout. Although that was on a different day. Right, uh, time to power on, I guess. Alrighty, so now the computer has been running for about 30 minutes or so i've decided to leave it just to see how temps and things go on the gpu we're at about 38 degrees celsius just idling sitting there after about 30 minutes which is about 100 degrees fahrenheit if you're from that part of the world fans on the gpu are at zero percent so let's uh Bring up Steam and we'll go into F1 2018 again, which is what I'm using for my benchmark on temperatures and things like that, so I get an even comparison. Let's see what the temperatures were. Interesting. Well, the CPU <laughs> didn't get past 50 degrees Celsius, which is great. The GPU, however, well, it's the same as it was before. Sort of maxed out at 75 degrees Celsius. What we did here didn't make a difference. Still might make a difference for you, I guess. Well, hit that like button if you liked it. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel for more quality content and I will see you in the next video.